Today I'm looking at the Prunus JS750S and it's kind of an all-in-one device. It's a Bluetooth speaker, an MP3 player, AM radio, FM radio, shortwave, and it does a few things you won't find in many other devices. I've been holding this close to the screen, but let me bring this back toward my head so you can get a sense of scale. As you can see, it's fairly compact. It's only 1.2 pounds and it comes in under seven inches long. As you can see, the JA750S has RGB lighting effects. In fact, they claim it has 10 different modes. However, I can't see a great deal of difference between the modes. And even if you select a different one, it will reset to this mode when you turn the power off. Also, it will not play RGB effects if you are using shortwave AM or FM radio. I could not pick up any shortwave radio signals in my house, but the manual actually helped me out with that. It basically told me if you are near a television or a computer or a appliance or if you're in the house, basically go outside and try it. So that's what I did. And once I was outside, I did pick up a Spanish language station as well as three religious stations. Now, hopefully you have better options where you live, unless that's the kind of stuff you want to listen to. It's, it's uh, <laughs> I think I'll stick to uh, AM or FM radio. The AM experience was, was far easier. I could pick up signals in the house. Same goes for FM. And actually, FM gave me the strongest signals. I had no trouble with that at all. While I realized that being a Bluetooth speaker is not this device's primary function, it nevertheless is one of the features. So I will say that compared to most Bluetooth speakers, this has well-defined buttons that are easy to read, easy to use. And there is one long press function and that is for TWS mode, true wireless stereo. However, I think if you're interested in TWS, you're probably looking at a different system, but this one does have it, so go nuts. I want to point out that the J750S supports USB-C for charging. Thank you, thank you so much. I've seen way too many devices lately that still force us to use micro USB. Nobody wants that. This is the standard you want. This is what you get and they give you a cable to use. Secondly, let's look at the USB and TF card slots. This gives you support for MP3, WMA, and WAV files. However, I think there might be an issue with certain bit rates because most of my cards didn't work in here. I'm not sure what the issue is, but fair warning. Also, the TF card hangs out the end. I'm not sure I like that. Well, I'm sure I don't like that, actually. However, if you put a USB card in here, that's going to hang out as well. So I guess that's okay. I haven't had any issues, but it just seems like a recipe for heartache to me. One feature you don't see on many Bluetooth speakers is this solar panel. They say this is a high efficiency charging system. I don't know about that. You have an 1800 milliamp hour battery that I expect you'll be able to trickle charge with this if you are outside, and why not? You're probably wondering how this thing sounds, and I'm sure you won't be surprised to hear this is not a high fidelity device. These are not tweeters, they are molded plastic. The speakers are here and here. They are 2.2 watts each, and they sound fine. It sounds like something that your grandpa would have in his garage. It doesn't have a lot of bass. It, just, it sounds fine. I think that having a shortwave radio and a solar panel that both require you to be outdoors to get any value out of them kind of defines the target market for this device. It's for outdoorsy people who like camping and fishing and other nonsense like that that I'll never do. But maybe that's right up your alley. How would I rate this? It does everything it says it'll do. There are a few quirks and it's inexpensive. So I'm going to give this a four out of five star rating. Let your conscience be your guide. You've seen the video. If this is for you, you know it.